Hey folks, my name is Tim Collins and welcome to my Jazz Vibraphone channel here on YouTube. Today's video, I'm going to explain a very useful practice tip which can help you develop your bebop phrasing and I call it the bebop chain exercise. So if you like what you see here and you would like to download a free PDF with exercises in this style, you can click the link that I've put in the description. So the bebop chain idea is really a simple idea of combining melodic fragments so that you can freely move around a chord. Now what do I mean by that? Well we're going to use the key of C major to demonstrate this idea. Now C major, if you think of the C major 7 chord, the root, third, fifth, and seventh are C, E, G, and B, like this. And I want to be able to freely play lines that go between those chord tones, always accenting those chord tones on a strong beat in the measure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try four different ways of going from the root to the third. Now all of these melodies have the same exact rhythmic pattern. They are four eighth notes and a quarter note. That makes it easy to connect them. I'm going to call the melodies that go between the root and the third the A melodies. So here's melody A1. Here's A2. Here's A3. And here's A4. So you notice that they all start on a C and they end on an E. So those are the A melodies from the root to the third. The B melodies are going to go from the third to the fifth. And I'm going to do four different choices of those as well. So here's B1. B2. B3. And B4. So on the B melodies, we started on the three and end up on the five. Now the C melodies are going to go from the five back to the one. So here's four different melodies that I will categorize as C melodies. Melody two. Melody C3. And melody C4. All right, so now we've got an A, a B, and a C melody. We can actually string these together however you want. We've got four different melodies for each of those pathways. So we have one that goes from one to three, three to five, and five back to one. So here's A1, B1, C1. Pretty uninteresting. Let's try A2, B2, C2. That one's pretty cool. How about A3, B3, and C3? So think of each of these like toy train cars. You can string them together however you want. Now we can also mix and match. We could do A1, B2, C3. So that would go like this. And you'll notice we've just been on a C major scale. I think that's a pretty simple yet powerful tool that you can use not only for practicing but also for composing. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you liked this content and you want to see more of it, please leave me a comment below, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and uh, check out any of the stuff that I have linked in the description below. Every little bit helps. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.